There's 104 days of summer vacation and school comes along just to end it. So the annual problem for our generation is finding a good way to spend it. Like me! the Eiffel Tower, discovering something that doesn't exist, hey. or giving a monkey a shower, surfing tidal waves, creating nanobots, or locating Frankenstein's brain, it's over here. finding a dodo bird, painting a continent, or driving our sister insane, Idiot. as you can see, there's a whole lot of stuff to do before school starts this fall, come on Barry, so stick with us, cause Phineas and Ferb are gonna do it all. So stick with us, cause Phineas and Ferb are gonna do it all. Mom! Phineas and Ferb are making a title sequence. Possibilities. Hey, where's Barry? Morning, Agent P. Dr. Doofenshmirtz is up to no good again. We just discovered his new hideout is located inside Lincoln's head at Mount Rushmore. Mm. I, I know, you were just there. Poor planning on our part, actually. Sorry. Phineas! Burp! Oh. Thank you, Peter. I've been meaning to stack those chairs. Dr. Doofenshmirtz, tell Perry the Platypus how you feel. Perry the Platypus, I, I'm so sorry I hurt you. When I wasn't actually trying to hurt you. If you give me another chance, I promise to hurt you in the right way. With cartoonish physical violence and elaborate traps constructed out of strange things I've purchased over the internet. What do you say? Oh. Well, what do you say, Perry the Platypus? Perry the platypus. <sighs> now! <laughs> I can't believe that worked! You know, Peter the Panda thought he had disassembled my Freezinator array. But that was just a decoy. Bring in the real one, boys! You see? My plan was simple. Assemble all the best secret agents in one room, and then turn them all into statues for my giant chessboard! <laughs> Hit it! Got your imagination, hon. Uh, Perry the Platypus, you don't mind if I say goodbye to Peter the Panda, do you? I, I just feel weird how everything happened. Uh, hey, uh, Peter the Panda, I just wanted to let you know that uh, I feel so. Ow! <laughs> well, how about we go check out that scary dinosaur? No, no, don't go in there! It's going to eat you! I'm telling you! Well, you're right, Candace. It's very lifelike. Mwah. Wait! Where's my remote? Hey, Mom! Hey, Dad. There you are, Candace. History is so exciting. We actually went back in time. I know exactly what you mean, Finn. These exhibits make the past seem so real. Hey, there you are, Perry. All right, historians. Let's head home. Hey, Candace. This fossil is my favorite in the museum. <laughs> huh. That's funny. I never knew cavemen wore safety helmets. Abandoned theater. 
comfy, Perry the Platypus. I've prepared something special just for you. You see, until now, every attempt to eradicate you has been foiled. Then I came across some... Excuse me, who are you and what are you doing here? I bought a ticket to see this movie. <sighs> okay, just roll the film. Who is the enemy of the platypuses? Or platypi, or platypeople? <laughs> well, you know what I mean. The platypus is one of our greatest friends in nature, a humble but key component in Mother Nature's delicate cycle of life. But as of late, worldwide populations have been declining to near endangerment. But why? Who is the enemy of the platypuses? Or, well, you know what I mean. This is the best platypus movie I have ever seen. Historically, the enemies of the platypus were well known. The poisonous swamp viper, the snaggletoothed badger, and duplicating imitatable stunts seen on television. But there is a new enemy of the platypus, one whose tireless development paves over the platypus's woodland homes. The greatest enemy of the platypus is man. Hi there. Huh? You see, Perry the Platypus? For years, I've been trying to rid myself of you with traps and bombs and poisonous gas and automatic tennis ball machines. I, I don't even know what I was thinking back then, but now I have the ultimate platypus elimination weapon. Perry the Platypus! Recoil in horror at my new creation! A giant killer robot man! My name is Norm. The enemy of the platypus is man. <laughs> this is awesome. I did not know this movie was in 3D. Please, stop running. Perhaps we could discuss our differences over coffee. There. That just about does it. Candace. I'll say what it just about does it. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. I know it's my wooga woogums. So cute. Not bad for a couple of boys. You're pretty good at this, Candace. <laughs> you bet I am. This is what real mothering looks like. Die me, me! Fire me! Hey, what about the fact that I held a petty grudge against an inferior mammal all these years, huh? Thwart me, Perry the Platypus. I hope it's a girl. Come to mommy, Snickawooka. Huh? It was just a bird? That's not just any bird. That's a rare whale song singing double breasted angle hooper. <laughs> the natural enemy of the platypus in the wild. Okay, okay, I have something really evil. Really, really. It's, it's, it's actually evil. Just kidding. <laughs> I have your batteries. Candace. What are you wearing? It's my mom suit. All right. I'll try not to take that as an insult. What is the rest of this? Candace had us build this to show us what motherhood is like. Okay. Candace, you made them build all this? No, that's not fair. You know, Candace, you're going to have to clean all this up. Mom suit. I swear. I'm not even going to ask. How do you only manage to see this one? Why only mine? Wait! Come back! Oh, this is so unfair! Wait! Hey, Candace. I was just stopping by to invite you. Hmm. Well, nice mom suit. See? He gets it! This is a glorious day for mankind. Ready with the camera so we can document it? Jeez. How many times have I told you to keep Perry out of my room? What are those? Teleports. Pretty cool, huh? You guys are so but. Cool, it worked. Candace, are you okay? Wait a second. How did you guys get so big? And why is my hand green? <gasps> I'm an ugly, smelly platypus! I'm a platypus! I'm a platypus! Amazing. I'm a platypus. I'm you a and platypus. Perry going through the teleport at the same time must have switched your brains. Oh, you think? You guys better change me back now, or I'll... Wait, Jeremy's gonna be here soon! Not a problem, sis. We'll just put you both through the teleporter again. Hey, where's Perry? I, I mean, Candace. I mean, Perry and Candace's body? I 
I wonder where he scampered off to. Any ideas, for? What you doing? Hey, Isabella. We built a teleportation device and accidentally switched Candace and Perry's brains. Really? That's so cool. You wouldn't think it was so cool if you smelled like this. We're looking for Perry so we can switch him back to normal. Want to help? You betcha. <laughs> Carl, how many times have I told you? Lift the seat when you're done. Sorry. Oh, there you... Uh-oh, Carl, I think we have a breach of security. What do you mean, sir? There's a teenage girl in here. A teenage girl? Agent P, brilliant disguise. Man, I thought it was a real girl. Now for your mission. Slushy the Clown statues have disappeared all over the Tri-State area. Without that clown, there's just nothing fun about lunch anymore. Carl and I have lunch at Mr. Slushy Burger every day. Pickles so green and meat so brown. Lunchtime's lunch fun, fun with, with Slushy, Slushy the, the clown. clown. We really miss that clown. So, <clears throat> drop whatever you're doing and find out what happened to those statues. By lunchtime. Candace? Hey, Candace! Awesome scooter! Hey, you want to come to Slushy Burger with my mom and me? Was that a yes or a no? I don't know, but I like the hat. Yeah, it's a good look for her. Come on, guys! Are you almost done? Jeremy's gonna be here soon. Verb's printing up the last one now. Looks great, Verb. Lost platypus looks like a girl? Why did you use that picture? I don't want anyone to see me like that. That's the only picture we had. Good job, Isabella. Glad I could help. <gasps> now everyone will see that horrible picture. Okay, Candace, just stay here while we post these around town. We'll find Perry in no time. There's 104 days of summer vacation, and school comes along just to end it. So the annual problem for our generation is finding a